And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz Diana. Going to be our next donation deck today. This deck looks pretty interesting. We're going to be an aggressively slanted deck where we have Fizz. And uh, Fizz is going to be able to get some damage in. But we're not like really all in on the Fizz. We're not really built around Fizz too much. Besides having these warning shots that can do Nexus damage. But we're trying to be pretty aggressive. So we have these Lunari Dustbringers and Solari Soldiers to go along with the Fizz. So we have nine one drops. The Dustbringer, of course, helps our Nightfall cards. Which is going to be important because we are going to have some Nightfall stuff with Diana and Shadestalker. Both of our two drops are going to be Nightfall. Um, got some good spells here. Over in the three mana slot, Mentor of the Stones. Just pretty awesome card. Petty Officer is... Honestly, Petty Officer is my pick right now for the best non-champion card in the game. Just the most efficient, best at what it does. Um, you know, like, when you play this card, your win rate is a lot better than when you don't play it kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I think, I think this is number one, to be honest. So yeah, we got Petty Officers in here, of course. We got Sprayfin, um, uh, you know, doing doing the Sprayfin thing, which sometimes will get Warning Shot, which isn't bad. You know, then it's basically like an elusive Yordle Grifter. Um, but then we also have other cards like Pocket Aces, uh, Some Blessed Figure, but then Pale Cascade. We can get a lot of value from Sprayfin getting Pale Cascade, Pale Cascade drawing another card. That can be a lot of value. I like this Sprayfin grab Pale Cascade thing. Um... And then we also have, um, oh, well, okay, Genevieve, who Genevieve might be better. I don't know, Petty Officer, though, but yeah, I guess Genevieve's up there, too. Um, okay, that, that may be one, all right, I may agree with you with Genevieve. I think you found the one. All right, anyway, uh, we got Jack the Winner, Slippery Wave Rider, Cygnus the Moonstalker. Some exciting top end. Okay, so we're going to be hitting it hard with Elusives with Slippery Wave Rider, right? Like this this card just hits hard. But then Jack the Winner, this is really interesting in here. So, of course, we're going to be using this. We have like Sleep with the Fishes. That's going to be more Nexus damage for us. But Jack the Winner with Cygnus the Moonstalker, these two together. Let's say we're like curving out, playing stuff the first four turns or whatever. But then we turn five, we play Jack the Winner. Turn six, maybe we have the attack token. We don't have, <clears throat> we only have our six mana, but we can play zero mana, sleep with the fishes, or of course, zero mana warding shot, either one. And then uh, go Cygnus the Moonstalker and give Jack the winner elusive, and that's nine elusive damage right there, plus the damage from the warning shot or the sleep with the fishes. You know, we're talking about half a life total right there. So pretty cool little top end to our Fizz Diana deck. So here we go. We're going to try to sneak out five wins. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. I know, I know. I haven't played any Bubble Bear decks. And yeah, I can't, I can't believe it. Mind Meld Bubble Bear is almost legit, I swear. Said Amuni. I... I mean, I guess it depends on your definition of almost, probably. <laughs> yeah, we should we should definitely try a Bubble Bear deck. All right, Puppet Girl, let's see. What will we got? Um, maybe Puppet Girl's playing Bubble Bear. Nope. Yuck. Wish I would have mulliganed that warning shot. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is what we call unfortunate. Yeah, it's true. It's three points of burn. All we have to do is draw 17 more warning shots. And we'll get there. So we can get Cygnus the Moonstalker to cost five, but that doesn't really help us because we have the attack token on the even turns. Bask in her radiant blessing. <laughs> okay, all right. Amuni just did a donation deck for a Bubble Bear deck. All right. Then I guess we gotta play Bubble Bear.
Okay, we can we can go with Mentor of the Stones. We can work with that. I am not happy about this. I'm not happy about this at all. <laughs> uh, we we're gonna do so much damage. Dude, that was that was so brutal. I really hope they don't have avalanche. Six damage right now. We're just splitting it up in case of removal. Celestials are fun. Now that, that deal four and deal one written in stone was perfect. Out there, so they have a bunch. Bunch of celestials in hand still. At least they have one that costs seven or more, and I was gonna say one that costs like five or something. Do I play Diana right now or wait? Yep, yep, yep. And Diana will be leveled up, but of course won't have Challenger if I play Diana right now. have to play the warning shot you know obviously we can't protect fizz but i kind of have to cast it to give the fizz elusive Chance we're dead to this immortal fire. The duel. Yep. Playing against Misfortune Quinn. So playing against some scouts. This will just be a race. Uh, the best thing for us would be they do not draw the card Misfortune. That would probably be the best thing for us. Definitely keeping Solari Soldier. 
Um, yeah, we'll keep Bell Cascade too. Ours is the one true light. Punish transgressions. Seventeen. Sure, if Mentor the Stones or Petty Officer is the better play. Honestly. I mean, I'd rather these trade than then play another Bright Seal Protector and, and, you know, kill it for free. good. Getting something that doesn't die. Uh, the misfortune ability. Yeah, do you want to do that tomorrow, Amuni? Yeah, I was I was planning on probably playing it on Monday for for meme tier Monday. But if if you really want it tomorrow, then we'll we'll do it tomorrow. You know, I'll do it. Soldiers, to me. Whatever day that you prefer. Hey, Sam. The hand can't say no to fizz. Nope, sure can't. All right, we got seven damage in. What are you trying to do? Seeing combat my fizz, that's not cool. Eight damage with Slippery Wave Rider. They're at nine. So my other option is I could just Pale Cascade the Fizz. That would take down their Genevieve Elmhart. Does seem like a necessary thing to do. Is that two out of four? I don't know. I yeah. I guess maybe I shouldn't have blocked with Butcher or trying to go wide. I guess that was a mistake. I was basically just trying to survive through more misfortune attacks. Like if this doesn't work, 
That's something like I don't want to take that four damage. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. That's what I was thinking there. Yay. Well, that's big time. We're going to have, you know, that's going to give us a lot more turns. So at least this misfortune is reset. Should be good to go. Play another one. Level up Diana. All right, GGs. One and one. They did play their Rangers Resolve kind of at the wrong time. Like they, they really didn't need to cast it when they did. If they saved that Rangers Resolve and just didn't play it, it wouldn't affect anything that turn, but they would have been able to save their Misfortune with that and could have made a big difference. I'm not. I said want to have some of our like 9-1 drops or something, but... Maybe I'm supposed to. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Batter him. Eat up, friend. Hey, what's up, Feels? We just played you. GGS. Yeah, I was just saying that we got, you know, we had a good hand and we fought through a lot. That was a good showing for our deck. I will take that trade. I'm a little worried. A little worried I play like one of these, then they play something else. Keeps that alive. Free kill. I bring clarity. Cool. Didn't have Tarek first, that's good. This is a tough call. Ours is the one true light. Well, that could be that could be really good later. Like if I can go, you know, if we could do Cygnus plus Jack and then playful trickster, that would be pretty awesome. We'll see if we're actually able to do that. Look sharp. Try me. Eat up, friend. I have no equals. 
Maybe we'll draw another Fizz. Elusives, let's go. Flavor and spice. All right, so two, four, eight, thirteen. They are at twelve. So the onus is on them to do something. So we don't need to start by firing off any of these spells. So that's going to do 7 damage. We can Sun Blessed Vigor that. And strike. Okay. So this is going to put them down to 4. So we'll go... This thing on... Fizz. Put them down to two. So as long as they don't have like another single combat. Which it looks like they don't because they let all that damage happen. There we go. Sleep with the fishes. Exaxes. You know, another solid... Solid curve with multiple ch challengers that uh, we outrace with our elusives. I don't know how exactly how this is going to work. What am I... Hmm, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. We're keeping this, but... The sequencing with the, these cards... Isn't easy or obvious. Well, it got a lot easier and more obvious. Now we can bring the dusk. Only a fool would enter battle and prepare. You cannot hold us down. I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work out with. You know, like, I could have just, I could not block and then try to go Diana challenge, but then we're, t we're talking about challenging a Omenhawk. This would be an, an Omenhawk. Like, is that the best use of that? Winter take. Aha! And that's what I was going to say. It's like, even if we, if we go there and do that with a Diana, if they have Ice Veil Archer, I'd feel pretty silly. And they did have Ice Veil Archer. All right, I don't really have anything to do this turn. By the moon's crescent blade. Wanna see a trick? I will be heard. So assuming they're gonna frostbite Diana. Oh no, they didn't. I'm gonna say if they they did, I was gonna use the pale cascade, not the pocket aces. All the world on to not permanently game. pump up. Diana, but you know, get that pump and get us the night, the nightfall draw card, that kind of stuff. Who gets tossed? All hands on deck. Go time. I give you muscles. Hmm. Our light grows brighter. Um, yeah, he, he bites. The time is right. Strike now. 
Okay, well, we both have four cards. We have a Fizz and a Petty Officer in play, and they have an Ash in play. Um, I'm going to get a spell. With the sickness. Alright, they are at 12 we'll life. At Never mind. Now. 15 life. We were peaceful once. All of our things have two power, all their things have three health. Warning shot one for twelve. Bow to no one. <laughs> okay. That's only the next one you play with this round, right? Yeah. That is a fast way to level up Fizz. Though. My aim is true. I know, you're always bragging about it. So hopefully they don't have harsh winds. That's the hope. Playful trickster would get me there because we we make this this is gonna be three so three four five six seven, but then uh, seven with the one with the warning shots. Yeah, we could do we could do fifteen. Um. Okay, so they're just telling me they have frostbite stuff. Oh my gosh, I didn't even play something first. What am I doing? Oh man, they... Man, I've been making a lot of mistakes this week with these new cards. Alright, they just have that card. So I guess I should have gone to combat, but even if I don't... Um, yeah, whatever. Alright, so basically, can we survive another turn? You know, that's gonna be the main question. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to kill them here. So can we survive another turn? They forced us to choose death or the blade. We can't just hope for change. That's gonna make it more difficult. More difficult to survive a turn. No matter what we did. Good hand for them, GG's. try keeping it we got we actually do we actually can kind of go all in with this fizz we do have a lot of protection for it you know especially with the there we go especially with the dust battle dust in position you cannot hold us down Don't. 
Hmm. Captain's orders. Maybe I should have changed course, withdrawn the Diana. Moving into sight. I do like this Dusk Petal Dusk just protecting Fizz, though. I do like that. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. You're just not good at all. Hey, Sam. A hand? Can't say no to Fizz. These gems grant a wearer common. Guns blazing. Came a long way, both. <clears throat> okay. Well, not too bad. It's our first spell as far as leveling up Fizz goes. Get that one mana. They know about this dust, of course, so they they know that if they try like a make it rain, it won't work. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Uh no, Zap does not draw a card like suit up. No. Suit up in the deck costs it's a four mana card. So no, it won't get suit up or gotcha. Or anything like that. Dang, we're pretty good at getting this Duskbringer. We're pretty good at that. You leave me no recourse. Um. That looks pretty good. Rude. Wasn't really a card I was anticipating, to be honest. The good news is we have really whittled down their resources. We've gotten them through a lot of st stuff with our pale cast. Like our pale cascades have definitely helped us out. All right, we can start with Solari Soldier. Get the daybreak. Get them to play something. Okay. Now we can go Diana. Get the challenger. We just we'll go pocket aces now. It's our time. Face your heretic. Like playing the pale cascade would level up Diana, but I kinda like having the option of this being another Diana just in case. Alright, maybe I should have played the other Solari Soldier too or something. Or actually I don't know. Yeah, mana wise I guess I couldn't. Sure. Bless the people and fear the heretics. It's not going to do it. Oh, the lag. All right, let's go level up and draw a card. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Mentor of the Stones. The gems with Fizz and with Elusives are also pretty good. I like this deck. We went three and two, but it felt pretty strong. I like it. I like a strong three, two. Our light grows brighter 
The Pale Cascade... All right, GG's. A full moon casts her light across the land. Yeah, this felt like a, a really strong uh, deck with the three, you know, with the three two there. I'd be pretty confident in in continuing playing this and getting three two uh, multiple times. I really like that Jack the Winner with Cygnus. I think that's really cool. Um, you know, that's a good way to close out games. Even just the the mentor of the stones with the elusives even though we didn't do that too often. I think there's a lot of good stuff in here, and even like the cards that we weren't playing very much, like Shade Stalker, Mentor the Stones, Jack the Winner, you know, like we hardly played those cards, but those are all really good cards that, that would have been good also. Uh, yeah, so, no, I like I like this deck. This is a good, you know, you want a nice, aggressive Nightfall deck. Uh, pairing it with Bilgewater looks pretty good. I like this with, with these different elusives. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of the deck with it being an, a, a good, strong Fizz deck. Um, yeah, leave those comments and everything like that. I'd really appreciate it. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Fizz Diana, and I'll see you for the next video.